Well, borderline's still sloppy. It, well, borderline's still sloppy. It, they're it, vicious. Well, but not, they're sloppy. Order, not all borderlines are sloppy, dude. Some, uh, I some haven't are seen really one sharp. yet. Some are really I sharp. Okay. I haven't met one. By definition, I, borderlines are chaotic. Yeah, they're chaotic, but the real high functioning ones, unless they're super triggered, are not sloppy. Now it's just putting with words right now. Unless they're super triggered, are not sloppy. Yes, um, if they're not triggered, they're not sloppy. I'll agree with that. Right. They're easy and to trigger. If they are triggered, then they get sloppy. But if they're not triggered, <laughs> now it's just putting with words right now. They're not triggered. Pretty good. They're they're pretty sharp. They're amazing. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Well, borderline's still sloppy. It, yeah, you know what? I don't think I had quite that much insight at the time when I was saying that to realize because that's a lack of actually, mentalization. That's a common trait of borderline. They don't naturally yeah. reflect oh, or mentalize. But Deep, I think that's a common trait of being human, unfortunately. No, it's just putting with words right now. I think that's a common trait of being human, unfortunately. Uh, 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 that, let's do, okay, we can let's do a survey. Do you think it's a common trait of being human or borderline? Uh, look around. How many people are mentalizing the feelings of others? I mean, seriously? <laughs> no, it's just putting with words right now. Look in the news. Okay, let's do a survey here. Anybody want to care and share their opposite issue of mentalizing too much to the point that you lose yourself a very codependent uh, trait anybody well that's a different thing than not mentalizing at all now it's just putting with words right now it's a lack but of actually, mentalization because you were just implied there was no mentalization going on and now you sort of hit the other side of it. but whatever you're talking about well i'm hitting the other side to try to expand the contrast yeah. it's maladaptive of too much mentalization it's also maladaptive of not totally agree. It's a lack exactly. of mentalization. What would it take me to get you to split? So if I said your artwork's shit and your house is a dump, would that be a good start or not? Mm -mm. No, you couldn't get me to split. Well, that's because, easy. He's heard that. Yeah. Or no, not. it wouldn't happen. Or no, not. it wouldn't happen. Brad, that's that's fucked up, and I've been officially <laughs> unfucked. No, it's just putting with words right now. Officially <laughs> unfucked. Just let me challenge you on this. You've been officially yeah. unfucked. I'm trying to pick this apart because yeah. to be honest with you, Mark, I'm not buying a lot of this stuff. I'm struggling to, because I, I still don't know very much about you. I still don't How really know. You? We've been talking yeah. for an hour and a half. How could you? I, and you've been, we've been talking for an hour and a half. And I have no idea who you are. And that's probably, again, I feel like it's like a scrambled egg. I can't unscramble it and make sense of you. Okay. That's all. That's all. It's like a scrambled egg. I can't unscramble it and make sense of you. Maybe okay. you are BPD because that's a very BPD thing to do. That's my argument. To be able to talk, well, talk and about that's yourself. Also, and that's also your perception. No, it's just putting with words right now. And that's also your perception that and may have nothing to do with the reality. No, it's just putting with words right now. So your perception, nothing to do with the reality. But right there is defensiveness. So your perception, defensiveness. So your perception, defensiveness, which is fine because you're trying to poke. But at the same time, Mark, we're we're letting this back and forth because if you want a real ideal of consistent, realistic, balanced emotional engagement, it has to have room for difference. Room for difference. That's I the hard totally part. agree, and yeah. I'm not upset about it at all. That Brad is entitled to his perception. Defensiveness with his perception. No, it's just putting with words right now. His perception. Defensiveness with his perception. I would argue we don't stop there. <laughs> his perception. No, that's an no, urgency that's to finish the story. It, yeah. Why can't we keep talking so we, can. we both can benefit from the perspective? We can. First of all, nobody's going to know anybody just through a back and forth Q&A <laughs> For now sure. and a half. Well, I disagree because I watched question? I watched the previous YouTube clip of this went which went for over an hour. We've been going for at least another hour, so I've got two hours of you talking. So two mm -hmm. hours of monologue, basically, to be honest with you, Mark. And I still don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> two <laughs> hours of monologue. I know okay. that you're an artist, and and that's it. That that's it. And that okay, really a gardener. I feel really interesting to me. The, the woodwork you see behind me, I built myself. This entire house. No, that's I built. the house. I want to know about you. Yeah. I feel like we have all the depth of a car park puzzle with this. That's what it feels like. I'll tell you something a little deeper. I read the Tao Te Ching every morning. 
and I love to meditate on what I think is a great wisdom that was written 2,500 years ago that is so broad and so concise, it's still relevant today. How about that? Yeah, why is that? Those are good that's, things that's, that you like to uh, do. What? Kind of virtue signal. Two yeah. hours of monologue, basically, to be honest with you, Mark. And I still don't know who the fuck you are. <laughs> I feel like we have all the depth of a car park puddle with this. That's what it feels like. 